Hi Nancy, hi Daniel, hi Inu. My name is Dami from Bella Niger. How are you doing today? Hi, hi Dami. Dami. Hello. Oh, great, thank you. So it's a few days to the premiere of Blood Sisters. On the scale of 1 to 10, mm. how excited are you? My goodness. <laughs> 11. <laughs> <laughs> 25. <laughs> I've been saying that like 2020 to like 2022 was literally faster than last week to this week. I've been waiting for Wednesday <laughs> for my whole life. Like it's so slow. Yeah. I'm so excited, honestly. Awesome. So mm -hmm. I'll give you um, a scenario and from the characters, who would you, who would you rather be with in that situation? So um, first of all, if you were in any of these situations, Whose character in the series would you want to have by you? A money heist. Uh, Blade. What's that? What's that guy's name? <laughs> no, no. So if you get you correctly, so you're giving us a scenario, yeah. and mm -hmm. then within Blood Sisters, mm. we'll pick who, what character. Or anybody, we'll yeah. Any right, character yeah. in the entire series. Yeah. 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 Do you get? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. His name Switch or Blade. Oh, okay. I What's that assassin's name? Blade. 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 Yes, Blade. Sam, I, Sam Blade. Yeah, Blade. Okay, a shootout. A shootout. Um, uh, definitely. Uh, who? Kola. Kola? Why? He died. Kola. <laughs> <laughs> Um, when his um, brother was bad, but he was a bad guy, so yeah. Me, I'll be Madame Udva because he'll be playing with you for me. I'll be the inspector, I'll be slow Joe. I'll be slow Joe. I'll be slow Joe. I'll be slow Joe. So, um, if someone to defend you even when you're wrong. Ah, uh, Kemi. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be Kemi as well. I'll be Kemi. <laughs> oh, I'll be Aki too. Aki. Oh, uh, whatever. Yeah. Kemi. Yeah. Aki, what? Well, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Kemi, everyone. Oh, yes. <laughs> so Nancy, Kemi is a multi-layered character. She's yes. the kind of friend that will kill for you, mm -hmm. literally. Nancy, how did you approach this, the crafting of your character? Um, first, I had to think about what true friendship was. Um, I had to. I was given a few films to watch: uh, Louise and uh, Louise. Thelma and Louis, and you know some other you know, films that, that the director told me, okay, you know, just look out for it. And I had to also go deep into myself and say, who is that friend? If I had this friend who could do everything for me, who would that person be? And then I shaped her into, into who Kemi was. And of course, I always say this, I didn't do this alone. I did this with the help of my co-stars. I did this with the help of <clears throat> the directors. And they were so hands-on with, you know, telling, giving directions, telling how we should go. Um, of course, adding to what I, I had to bring to the table. And for, for a film, for a series like Blood Sisters, where everybody had their A game on and everybody was so invested in every other person's character, not just your character. You know, everyone was happy to lend, you know, when we're having uh, reads and when we're, we're trying to rehearse for a scene, there's always something you can chip in. Um, and I also thought about, okay, if Kemi, Kemi is such a, 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 a bad bae, you know, she's such a gangster girl. If she was in a Nigerian situation, she definitely would be speaking pidgin here and there. Like, there's no way she would just be that kind of baby. We say, uh -huh. when English too tough, she go put pidgin. <laughs> and then when people like, say, oh, they hear everything they talk, you go add English. You know, she's that kind of girl. She can switch at any time. So that's how I did with Kemi. I just took her and I shipped her into what I wanted her to be. Awesome. So, um, Ini, yeah. in real life, Kemi or Sarah, who would you prefer as a friend? Oh, oh that's an interesting question. Um, it's very easy to for me to first of all say Kemi because you know she's ride or die. She's very feisty. She's there when you need her. Um, but there's a place for for Sarah in my life as well because she has so much empathy. She's she's there to listen. She's she's patient with you. She definitely will not be want to judge you. <laughs> she's going through a lot on her own. Um, so. I, for me, the, I have a, I have like a whole pack of girlfriends, and they all have different personalities. And there's room for like a Kemi and Sarah in my life for sure. Great. So, Daniel, what was what was your reaction when you got the call that you'd be joining the cast of Blood Sisters? I was excited. I um, had worked with Ebony Live before, so I was expecting to come on board a world-class production. But when I found out that, oh, it was going to be a Netflix mm -hmm. project, I was like, you know, yes, yes, yes! You know, Netflix is it, you know, right now. And everyone wants to jump on board the Netflix project. So when I found that out, 
I was super excited, called everyone, yo, 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 I'm on the biggest project of my life mm -hmm. yet, you know, so, um, yeah, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm grateful, thankful, all of that, prayed, thanked God for, you know, bringing the opportunity, and being on the project as well was exciting. I mean, these two ladies sitting by my side are fantastic performers, and, you know, the cast and crew, the directors, everyone on board just brought their A-game, and it was such an amazing project in general. Awesome. So, Nancy and Ini, so I love your dynamic on screen and off screen. So, is this the first time both of you are working together closely <laughs> on set? No, we actually, uh, the first time we worked together was about eight years ago on the wow. show called okay. On the Rail. Wow. And that's when we became like fans. Yes. And obviously, like, you know, we're not as close as we are now, but I'm, we would, we'll go to each other's like events, we yeah. followed each other on Instagram, yeah. we'll just send love each other's way. Yeah. So it was amazing when we had that audition. Because yeah. obviously, um, the day we did the physical audition, you were paired with different people, I guess so, some sort of chemistry test. And even we just knew when we had our read together. Yeah. But what's interesting, like you might not know, is on that day, I actually read for Kemi and she read for Sarah. <laughs> so mm -hmm. that was flipped after, after but it yeah. was amazing. Yes, uh, as uh, Ine, I was about to say Sarah. Yeah. <laughs> Ine and I worked on On The Real, and what's interesting about On The Real is it also is an Ebony Live um, production. Yes. And not only is it That's also true. an Ebony Live production, it was also created by the same person who created mm. this, mm. which is Timmy yeah, Dio, yeah. Apudu, mm -hmm. um, Marco Jola, hey Jesus. Marco Jola. <laughs> Marco Jola, yes, I didn't, I didn't kill the name. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and now getting to work on this, of course, we've, we've kept in touch. We've been um, not tight, tight friends, but we've, we've definitely showed love to each other, attended each other's events, like she said, um, been there for each other at times, and of course, do our normal banters. So when we came for the audition, we didn't even know, because obviously, there's a rule that guides auditions and guides, you know, scripting and guides rules. You're not allowed to share. And then we came and we saw each other and we started yeah. reading, and like she said, I read plainly, strictly for Stella, for Sarah then that it day. Was written as Stella. Actually, <laughs> the best character name was Stella, yeah. and then it was changed to Sarah. I don't even think Kemi was Kemi. No. Yeah. It no, wasn't it was, Kemi it was something either. Else. It, was something <laughs> else. it was something else. And then I read that day, and when I got the call back, and I was told, oh, congratulations, you got the role of Kemi. I was like, who is that? Who is Kemi? <laughs> what is Kemi? I don't know who Kemi yeah. is. And it took me a while to actually accept. And I remember Auntie Mo like, she was like, Nancy, you're delaying us. And I was like, oh, shoot. And I asked her, I, said, I just need to know about Kemi. And we were like, just, just chill, you know, sign the NDA, sign the contract, we'll send you your script. Yeah. And I did that in faith. And I said, you know what? The, the God knows better. The universe knows better. Um, if this is the role that's coming to me, then it must be the role for me. And then I read the script. And I was like, yeah. Boy. Hey, <laughs> I, knew, I, I love Kemi. I think my guess it was so different because I knew about all of them because right. for my for my tape, I'd read for Kemi and I'd read for Timmy. Mm. However, for the physical um, audition, they wanted me to read for Kemi, Sarah, and mm -hmm. Timmy. Mm -hmm. And it was about 31 sides to be mm -hmm. off book for. And mm -hmm. I called Auntie Mo, I'm like, it's a lot, it's just a weekend. Mm -hmm. like, and I'm obsessive, so there's no way. I needed to have everything in my brain. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I can't have 31 sides in my brain like, and deliver the way I want to. Yeah. And she's like, okay, you know what? Let's pick, we'll pick two that mm -hmm. you should focus on. And the two they picked was Kemi and Timmy. Mm -hmm. So that's what I eventually auditioned for. Oh, yes. And like, life just happened, and yeah. it was so perfect. Yes, it was. It was. So, uh, Daniel, mm. well, and without uh, make, bringing any spoilers, would Akin be up? What will Akin be up to in the next, in coming episodes? Ooh, uh, I guess Akin will have to because of the kind of person Akin is, and uh, the fact that he is kind-hearted. He is, um, he has a good heart. You know, he's very good-natured, and he is a loyal friend. Ak you, you can best believe Akin will, will will not stop until he finds out the truth. Akin mm -hmm. would go, you know, almost obsessively towards the truth until he uncovers it. Awesome. So Nancy, one mm. moment that stood out for me was the bathroom scene. Mm. What was it like to shoot that? How did you feel about it? And are you pleased with the outcome? Of course, I am. I watched it as well during the private screen and I was like, yeah! 
<laughs> you know, um, I'll t- take you through quickly the process of like getting into that bathroom scene. So when I had read it, um, I was like, oh my gosh, this scene, yeah. You know, there, there are three different turning points for the story. So it starts a certain way and then it takes a flip and it takes a turn and from there it's a roller coaster. And that I think that point was about the second or the third point, the turning point. And um, I just, especially for the girls, for everybody else, we all had our different turning points. But for the girls, we had our own different turning points. So that was about my second or my third. And I remember the script had written that we, we, I took off my clothes because I was about to do the do. And uh, by the do, I don't mean anything. (laughs) Like, listen, it's a horror film, chill. Well, there's a bit of, yeah, something's good. But yeah. I was about to do, 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 and um, I heard that, and we were talking to the director, and I told the director, okay, the script says I'll go, um, I'm taking off my clothes, and I'd worn the biggest panties I could find. I literally told costume, buy big pants. We're going to cover here, yeah. okay? <laughs> cover the whole everything, and big bra. So I'd worn my big bra, my big pants, and I was like, oh, I'm ready. And then the director's like, oh, no, you're going to leave your clothes. And I'm like, no, no. If a mother or someone who's trying to butcher somebody, they're definitely going to want to take off the clothes because it's going to have blood all over. And he was really concerned about nudity, which I understand, because that also takes away from the scene. Yeah. You know, instead of you concentrating on what's happening, you're like, ah, ah, this Nancy Nash. <laughs> wow, eat the rest. So he was trying not to have that too. Yeah. And that's when um, we were like, okay, you know what, the bean bag, I can't remember whose idea, I think it was a director's idea, who, okay, we spread the bean bag over it, and we wore it, and then it was time for the butchering. And I think there was also the banter about, should there be the spill gory or not? And I said, it has to be gore. I said, no, please give me my gory, please. <laughs> and I was like, you know what, we're going to try two. I think we tried one without the gory stuff. Yeah, and the then... second one, it was like, okay, now let's do the gory. gory. And we did when we figured it was like, yes, we did it. Like, we felt it. Yeah. And even when I was in, I was like, oh, yes, come on with the gory. <laughs> this isn't so bad. Maybe these murderers are actually enjoying something <laughs> about this. And then it was JME, so I was like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> 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 they didn't even as much as we did because we were like, ah, ah, ah. But yeah, we did as much as we could. Who and, um, are you, Nancy? Yeah, no, who am I? This is Kemi right here. This is not Nancy. Nancy is out of the window. This is Kemi. So yeah, that was that. And I'm glad you brought it up because it was an exciting one. And it was yeah. the last thing of the day, I yeah. think. And when we finished, everybody went home. Yeah. <laughs> so in three words, um, na- uh, Nancy, De- um, Nancy, Daniel, and... Uh, yeah, in is still living. <laughs> <laughs> so just in your head three in words <laughs> describe Blood Sisters. Thrilling. Roller coaster. Powerful. Awesome. Thank you so much for making out the time. Thank you. Thank you. you. So it was really awesome speaking with you. So do have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jamie. Yes. You're so sweet. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.